Images of prisoners in El Salvador, stripped to their underwear and kept in crowded prison cells, are once again in the news. On Friday, the Salvadoran government allowed journalists to tour this supermax prison, which houses members of some of the country's most notorious gangs and has in the past attracted criticism from human rights groups. The prison tour appears to be in response to a recent report accusing the Salvadoran government of negotiating with members of the MS-13 gang to reduce violence in exchange for prison privileges, all in an effort to gain political favor ahead of the upcoming midterm elections. Via Twitter, El Salvador's president, Nayib Bukele, denied the accusations, pointing to images of the prisoners lined up in rows and adding, show me one privilege, just one. That's where we caught up with him. Last December, the Salvadoran president sat down with Al Jazeera's James Bays, speaking specifically about the importance of reforming El Salvador's prisons. Uh, we closed communications in, the, in jails. In the jails, you had Wi-Fi, cell phones, computers, uh, everything. The, and they were ordering the, the killings from the jails. And the so they were the headquarters for the gangs the who were in the jails? Yes, we were paying for their headquarters. In recent years, El Salvador has made significant gains in curbing violence. On Friday, the ambassador to El Salvador applauded the efforts of the federal government. We like to think that the reason the violence has been reduced is partially because of the cooperation with the United States. President Nayib Bukele's popularity remains high, and his relationship with U.S. partners is strong. But the accusations of alleged negotiations with gang members are serious, as MS-13 is regarded by both countries as a terrorist organization. And, precedent set after El Salvador's civil war 30 years ago, makes the law clear on who the government can and cannot negotiate with. Recognizing guerrilla fighters as political actors was fundamental in negotiating peace. But the gangs is completely different. They are not a political group. They are a criminal group on the margins of the law, and the state cannot negotiate with them. Gang violence has been a chronic problem in El Salvador since the 1980s. And nearly four decades on, President Bukele is not the first government official to be accused of colluding with these gangs for political gain. El Salvador's attorney general says he plans to investigate the allegations. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera.